hi guys you are welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how you can manually detail your structure in protasteel in our previous videos i've shown you how you can use the macro to do this i've also showed you how you can use the interconnect to to do that but for today i'll be showing you how you can manually do that on your own you know at times you need to get yourself some connections that you won't be able to find in the macros so you need to do that manually on your own so i'll be showing you how you can do just that with the um with brother steel i uh, will just have to make um a connections let me make um, um let me just make um a orange connection then we will have to replicate that okay so you can see we have uh, a orange connection so when you look at the orange connection you see that we have um we have the rectangular plates we have the boots we have the triangular plates and the triangular plates as chamfer you can see it as chamfer at all corners you can see so they are chain chamfers at all corners and then we have the web for the for the triangular end plates okay and then there is a cut you can see there is a cut at this side what do i mean by cut i don't know maybe you can see it properly normally when you model your beam you draw from center to center so if you look at this beam the um the beam is actually running from the center of the column all right the same thing goes for this beam from the center of this beam okay whenever you just drop in a connection the connection will cut this external part away the middle part it will cut it away because it is not essential okay so that is exactly what you are seeing here okay so we also have to make these cuts and then we will see we have some stiffeners at the top if you look at this there's a stiffener at the top we have another stiffener here and there is another stiffener here okay all right so let's just get into it and do it at this other side which is um this side okay so to do that i'll just select this column and this beam then i will right click show only selected so that i can only see that um that alone so the first thing i'll be doing right now is i have to create the rectangular end plate all right so to do that i will just need to create a view point so i'll go to create view then here you can see create view so i'll create view by two points so i'll pick the two points that i need i'll just create this point and then this point all right so that will create this view for me you can see so i have this view um let me just create the plate right away so you come to the plate you click the plate and then before you click the plate make sure you know how to work with these views okay so this is the global view and this is the local view so we are now in 2d so you have to change it to the local view here okay so you see this and then you just pick if you don't do this actually you will not be able to do anything on this on this 2d okay so that is very important so you click this for the beginning of the end plate and then you pick this and then i have to take the end plate to come down by 700 to do that just click enter and then you know it has to come back it has to come down in the y direction and if you look at this um axis you see that anything going up is positive in the y and anything going to the right is positive in the hex okay so i want to come down because i'm coming down the y i'm coming down in the negative so that'll be minus then let that be 700 okay then enter all right so this is the point right here you can see the point pick this next point okay and then take it to the last point so that has activated my my end plate okay so to see that you can go to the 3d view okay you can see the end plate but it is not doing well just click on it and then ctrl w ctrl w so that will take it to the front and instead of that you can just double click and then this will take you to the macro you can see you can work with this front middle behind let me see i won't see that behind behind then apply okay you see take it back but i want it at the front okay so just click front and then apply but the shortcut is just country w country w all right so um what else do i need to do let me just take it back to the global you can see i've taken the axis to the global axis back so i need to make a cut you know this um part of the column this part of the beam that is going to the center of the column i have to call it away okay so i will cut it at the beginning of this end plate because the beam has to be in contact with the end plate not with the with the um with the column it will be in contact with the end plate then the end plate will not be in contact with the column okay so to make it easy i'll just have to create a reference line around this side so let me create a reference line this is a reference line i'll create a reference line from here to here okay so you can see the reference line interrupt okay i don't need to create another reference line here if you want you can create another reference line here but this is a point already so there's no special reference line that i need so if that is done you can come to this let me use this one to cut we have several cuts um macros so i'll use this one to cut and then 
the type of cut is polygon so if you want a circular cut you can pick a circular cut so the depth of cut let me just use 1000 even what i want to cut is not up to 1000 you can see from this point up to this point is not up to 1000 but if you use 1000 you're on the server side because i don't need to be measuring the distance from here to here before i can put this here okay so just click on um select part so this is the part which is the beam that i want to cut okay then it's now ask me to select um the points so i want this point um this point um this point this point then go back to the last point okay this point okay so that will cut it off you can see anything from here to here that is the 1000 part so anything from here to here anything from here to here to cut it okay so both in the up and down direction so that is good enough right so um the next thing i have to do let me just go let me take away the reference line you can delete the reference line um let me go back to the view so that i can create both you know i need both on the on the base plate so um go to the view okay but when you are in this view don't forget to change this back to your view plane okay so take click on this okay so if you don't click on this you will see there will be a difference but i don't want to show you that right now i don't want to waste our time okay so just click your both group and then select your base plates and then select your column then just right click okay so now you need to specify the beginning and the end point of where you want the boots to be so i'll pick the x direction which is from here up to here yeah okay then click on okay so you see this is your boot all right this is your boot but this is not doing right i know so all you just need to do is double click on that and then you have two options one you can create a hole you can create a boat so if you want to create a hole if you don't need a boat you just need a, a, a hole okay you can just use this same function all right or use boats definitely a boat will create hole so this is boat is like boat and hole right so let me fix the position where the position should be so go to the position and then in the x axis let me assume i need three so i want one to be at that 7.5 i want another one to be at 60 I want another one to be at 100 okay so this is like the origin okay so from this one to the next point that should be that 7.5 to the next one that should be 60 to the next one that should be 100 so it's not like the spacing between them it is a counting from the origin okay so in the y direction let me assume i have five boots and then their spacing is 100 so let me just say five multiplied by 100 okay and then just click on apply okay so and then okay so let's see how that worked oh this is not doing fine um look at this this is sitting on the uh, or where we have the h plane so the fourth one let me just say three times 100 and then this one i'll reduce the spacing to about let me say 60 or 75 so double click on the boots and then no the boots not the column double click on the boots then the position so here i will change it to 3 multiplied by 100 because the first three are doing well so space then the fourth one i will just say um let me say 50 okay then i'll have two more let me say two multiplied by two multiplied by 100 so that is a lot of boats but doesn't matter okay so you can see this is the way it is now looking like okay let me create one more 50 and then apply okay no that is so close let me use um 75 apply okay then oh, okay all right so these are the boots okay so you can see the boots let's see it in 3d okay so you can see how the boots look like okay so that is that is doing just fine okay yeah this um boot we enable you to connect the um the the end plate to the column all right but we still need a connection between the beam and the and the end plate all right so to do that i will have to weld okay so um let's click on weld this is um weld so i use this one click on weld then i'm going to pick this um joints and then you pick the base plate okay so that will do just that so if you zoom in very well you see something like a magenta color okay so that is the weld okay interrupt let's see it in um, wireframe okay so you come to this and then you change it to um, wireframe okay so you can see the magenta color um but if you look carefully you see that it is just that edge that's words okay but i need it to wedge all around everywhere there's eye section so that's not a big deal just double click on that and then type of wedge you change it to all around okay and then 
you click on apply okay then okay so when you look now you see that all of the eye section is showing the magenta and that tells you that all of the eye section parts has been welded so the whole eye section of the pin has been welded to the um to the end plate okay so that's good enough and then let me just take it back to the contour solid okay so we've weathered the plates to the we've weathered the beam to the end plate and now we've used a boat connection for the end plate and the column okay so that's doing fine the next thing i need to do right now is i have to create um the triangular end plate okay the triangular end plates so to do that i have to create another view another view so go to view and then create a view let's create a view by two point again then let me just look for the center i think this is the center and then um let me pick this other place bam okay so that will give me this um take this to the view all right and then let me create another rectangular view another rectangular plate so you go to plates okay so i'll pick um this point okay then i have to go in the x axis so you enter so you say the x that's 500 not minus this time around 500 so that is this point and then the other points that should be here and then where is it okay here okay so now you can see um you can see the plates okay you can see the end plates let's see it in 3d okay so you can see the triangular end plates but uh, what i still remember is we have chamfers but even before the chamfers let me let me move this upward okay let me move this up or this edge i need to move this edge upward because the edge shouldn't be flushing with air because this um triangular end plate will still have a flange so i have to move that part upward so to do that just um hold your alt and then pick this edge when you hold alt you'll be able to pick a particular edge but when you don't hold alt but when you don't hold alt you just select the whole object all right so um right click and then go to let me put this in global then um go to move special so you are going to move in the linear direction so reset i'm moving in the z direction because i want it to go upward so let me move in 25 and then move okay you can see that has gone up okay so you can close that is good so the next thing i will do right now is um i need to i need to bring in the the flange the flange okay i'll just bring in the flange so to do that you see this you can create you can use this to create the flange okay in this sectional plate so you click this and then just click the plates and then pick this point this point okay and then this point okay so you can see the the flange has been created okay so let's do some editing you can see that um the flange is so wide so what you can do is let's click on it double click and then the extension sorry i click on something else this double click then the extension instead of 200 i'll change it to 100 okay then click on apply you see that that's reduced okay and then what is the thickness let me use them um, 15 mm for the thickness and then apply and then okay okay so that is actual that is good enough um one more thing i need to do is um and okay before i do that you there is um this particular thing you need to check you see that obviously the the flange is connected to the triangular end plate so there should be a connection and that connection is welding connection so if you look closely you see that you can see the magenta stuff that is what that is the welding so that tells you that there is a welding between this and this okay so that is doing fine another thing we have to do is we have to wear the top of this um to the beam and we have to wear the bag to the end plate right so let me just pick the weld so pick the weld and then you pick the the top the um this line and then this okay so that weld and then pick this and then this okay so that we wear okay so that is good enough if you remember we have um chamfer at this we have chamfer on this um plate so just click this place and let me let me show only let me show that only okay and then so you hold your cord this time around you hold alt control you know i told you when you hold alt you'll be able to select the edge but i want to select three edges which is this point this point and this point so i have to hold alt control so alt control this edge okay 
and then this edge and then um this edge okay all right then double click okay then you see this will bring your chamfer so just click on this drop down to select the type of chamfer you need this is the one i'm looking for okay the radius let me use a um, radius of 25 and then apply close so you can see when you look closely you see there is a chamfer there already you can see the chamfer and then you can see the the chamfer okay so let me show all that will show even more than what i need but let me go back and select just what i need oh let me just like this okay and then this beam and this column I think something else is selecting that i don't need this one take away and then show only selected okay okay so yeah we are back so you can see that um that's almost all the next thing to do now is we need to create um stiffness okay so you go to stiffener so this is stiffener um click on stiffener then I'm, i want to create the stiffener of this column so click this and then let me just pick a point this point so that will create the stiffener i need one more at the bottom then let's use this point yeah okay let me put one more here um let me use this point then that will create a stiffener then the same thing on the beam um click here and then let's use this point let's use this point okay so we have um a stiffener okay so i'll just need to create a work plane here okay so click the column and then click the beam then you right click and then you go to set work plane then to point okay then you look for this point let's see this point okay so the next thing for me to do now is i have to save this okay so i just need to save it so just select all of them select you can you know how to use the select when you use this select it will only select the parts you selected okay but if you use the other way around select it to select everything okay so you need to select from the top like this okay so that will select all you need actually so then the next thing you do is you go to the manual macro here so you click the manual macro and then give it a name on 111 okay and then type um collision if you click on this you see that the profile the first profile has to be the coming beam while the second profile has to be the column okay so just click on okay and then click on new so that will bring it here okay and then click on select your member so your main should be beam um yeah beam and then column then you right click okay um updates and then you just save okay just save so it will be there then when you save just say okay and then that's fine so let's create it somewhere else show all um let's create it around here so you go to the macro and then you pick this one there is a create connection they have to pick this and then this okay and then you can see that yeah you have your your macro so that is how you keep on using it okay so if you want to put it somewhere else you just do that and then that's fine so if you like this video don't hesitate to like and then if there's any question you have you can put it in the comment section and then i need you to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed thanks for watching